Hello friends, Erroneous here, and today we are going to try to find another fortress. Alright guys, before we start, I have a quick time lapse for you. I was just mining out this area, thought it looked kind of cool in time lapse form. So it's been a while. Yeah, I started school back up, which means that videos are probably going to be a lot more sparse, maybe one every week or so. But I'm finally settled in, so I felt comfortable making a video without having myself die from too much work. Been working on some good gear. I've spent about the last 20 days in Minecraft on the last four villagers just for good enchantments. Other than that, I don't really have too much, so let's just get on with the video. Right, I hope you guys liked that little time lapse. Uh, didn't spend too much time on it, just kind of clicked record and then put four points in after I was finished digging out that area. But I got quite a bit from that. I've got a full set of diamond armor, although I'm not wearing it. It's, uh, yeah, it's upstairs ready to be enchanted, sitting on an armor stand. I have, uh, I have gotten quite a bit done with the villager trading, as I might have said. I haven't done the voiceover for the, <laughs> for the, uh, time-lapse yet. I'll leave that to future me. It sounds like a future me problem. Yeah, I guess I'll just kind of look around, see if I can find it. Also, before I forget, that's where my portal is, and the coordinates are obviously up here. Oh boy. I was adjusting my screen brightness and that, that guy attacked me. I forgot I enchanted this with infinity, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I also got a new pickaxe. <laughs> Very nice. Been doing a lot with villager trading, as I said. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but I've gotten all the way to here without thinking that it might be a good idea to mark the pathway to get back. My goodness. Come at me, bro. You can't handle this. Hmm. Guess you can't handle this. At least you think you could. She? Oh. It's a ghast. <laughs> Is that would that be Yeah? Z, like, genderless. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure. I'm probably not going to need quartz for quite a while. Unless I do some big redstone projects. Oh, crap! Ooh! Oh, fat monkey balls! Ooh! Go away. <sighs> oh, wow, that got my heart racing. Yeah, don't hold W while mining at high speeds in the nether, kids. It's not... Oh, it's not safe. <sighs> Just about gave me a heart attack. Oh my gosh. That was, that was a really, really close call. I think I just realized why netherrack is so soft. It's because it's really hot. It's like, when you heat up steel, it gets softer. Huh. Although, if that's the case, it's- <gasps> Yes! Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, although if that's the case, with it being soft because it's hot, that means that there's some odd shenanigans going on with the player being able to survive those heats. 
because that's much hotter than a flame. Unless maybe temperature is different in Minecraft. Minecraft theorist. <laughs> Just in case I die, let's get the coordinates up on the screen. Hey! I like to get a screenshot of milestones, although I guess there isn't really too much of a point to it if uh, you either have the achievement or you don't. Oh, there's something I forgot to do. Music and sounds. Volume. 10%. Uh, I apologize for leaving F3 up on the screen. But I like to have the coordinates up when I'm doing something dangerous, because that way, if I die, I'll still have the uh, I'll still have the coordinates of where I died. <coughs> Pro gamer strats. And I forgot once again to mark which way I came from. My goodness, air. Learn to play the game. Here I am talking about pro gamer strats. I didn't even mark the exit. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh my, there are a whole bunch of you. Oh, maybe I don't have to protect myself. Maybe they'll fight each other. Dang, there are a lot of them. <laughs> Bye. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't like blazes. They are not the friendliest of mobs, that's for sure. Well, I got what I came for, so I might as well just go back, I guess? No, because I want to get some blazes, too. I don't like killing blazes, I don't like fighting them. Oh dear, that's not good. Like I said, my strategy is to run and hide. Bye. Ooh, hi there. How can I get over there? Oh, hi there. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Blazes. I really don't like blazes. But I need blaze rods. Did I get any? No, because I haven't killed one yet, except for that one that I threw off the edge. Alright, there we go. Oh boy. Nope, no, 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 no. You need to make like a little protective area right here. Yeah. In fact, go ahead and throw that down so if I get on fire, I can put myself back out. Come on. 
Hit me. Wow, great job. <laughs> Don't forget the five, the four seven Ds of dodgeball. <laughs> Man, I suck with a bow. There we go, okay. <laughs> Oh boy, nope. No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Something tells me this is not. Yeah, this, this is about time for me to go. Oh boy. Head out. Okay. One last bit of food, and I'm out of here. Back to base, hopefully. Oh, that's a wither skeleton. Hi there. Wow, hi. Oh, server lag. Please, no. I heard magma slime. Don't know where it is, though. How do I get back home? Oh, there it is. Hi there. Nope, go away. You are a big boy. either. Let me go! Oh, hey! My exit! <sighs> okay, down we go. That's enough of that shit. The nether is not the safest place in the world, that's for sure. I'm not a terribly large fan of exploring it. But it has things required for my line of work, and it also has the stuff required for potions, which are pretty nice, so... I guess they have to make it more difficult, because otherwise it wouldn't be nearly as much of a challenge. But yeah, I'll probably notice, but I'm sorry about the uh, fan noise if there is any. I've got a... Uh... Is that the one that I just placed? Yes, it is. Um, I've got a... And an air conditioner in my room that is not terribly quiet. I would be kind of surprised if you guys can't hear it. But oh well, c'est la vie. I remember this. So I think I'm heading the right way. Yeah, because this is where I fell through the roof. That's some gas. I don't like gas. Whoa. Nope. Okay, there we go. Right, now somewhere in the roof here is where I had the uh, the hole that dropped me down. I don't want to walk around too much while looking at the ceiling because things like this exist here. So where is it that I fell down? Probably right around the gas explosion. Just a guess. I think I did fall through some sort of ravine before I hit the bottom, so this would make sense. Let's uh, 
should check it out. Ah, yep, there it is. Cool. Whew. This has been really, really bad on my heart. <laughs> right. I know I came from this way, but where over here did I come from? Oh, right, I came from there. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll just make a little stairway up so I don't forget. Yeah, ooh. Oh. I hate traversing the never nether. You never know when there's gonna be lava or fire or something that hurts you just from being in its presence. Alright, I think the next spot was this way, so I'll just erect a quick one of these again. I think my exit was up on the wall here somewhere. Is that it? I don't know. I have an idea. I'll review the footage. After reviewing the footage, it looks like I need negative 287.53. So where would 287? 287 would be this way. So I went the wrong way. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> Alright. So negative 287 and 53. Yeah, it's definitely that one. Oh, I remember that. I remember thinking that's a really weird generation thing. So it has to be over this way somewhere. Because I was standing right here, just a minute ago. So it has to be that way, because I remember coming from that way when I saw that specific bit of generation. Um, is it maybe over here? I don't think I dropped down anywhere. I know I didn't cross that. So it must have been over here. Hey, there it is, okay. So yeah, this is definitely where my base is. Just gotta mark that. Now, question is, how did I get over there? Or, I guess over here. Miss that? How? <laughs> it's such an obvious staircase. Uh, I guess maybe if you're looking at it from this angle, it's not quite as obvious, but still. And this should be my base. Yep. Wunderbar. Wunderbar? Wunderbar? Oh, I don't speak German. <laughs> Alright. Home sweet home. Now I think it's time that I show you guys my new villagers. 20 stone for an emerald. Pretty easy to get them down to 19 though. Also 16 diorite for an emerald. This guy takes 24 paper for an emerald or 11 glass panes for an emerald, which is a pretty nice deal. This guy buys coal. He also gives a sharpness to diamond sword. This guy buys wool. Not too much else good with this guy, although he does sell orange carpet, which I really like. This guy buys potatoes, which is great because that villager breeder I made has potatoes as a waste product. 
he also gives emeralds for pumpkins and melons. He also has jump boost suspicious stew and uh, what was the other one? I think it was instant health. I can't remember. I think it was jump boost and instant health. But they're not labeled anywhere here, so I can't tell. I have to. I had to drink them. This guy has Fortune 2. I haven't unlocked any of his other trades, though. Or for Fortune 3, pardon. And this guy has Efficiency 5, Multi Shot, and Impaling 4. This guy has Unbreaking 3 for 12 emeralds. Not bad if I do say so. Mending, 14 emeralds. That's a nice one. This one's got Silk Touch for 6 emeralds. Fun fact, you can actually use the book to break certain things with the Silk Touch effect. This guy has Respiration 3 for 32, which I think is a little pricey. I don't know, that may just be my own personal thing, but I think it's a bit much. Yeah, those are all the guys that I have currently. I've got my little villager set up here. Ooh, looks like they've been breeding a lot. Uh, make sure that that's turned off and that's not set to kill. Pop one out, see what he gets. Frostwalker. Not great, but I can always change it by breaking that and putting it back around noon, so I'll do that later. Ooh. Do you hear what I hear? I hear a slime. need lots of slime. Once you get slime, that's where stuff starts. <gasps> Is he down in the room downstairs? Ooh, that would be great. Uh, that time lapse, I made that big old room. If he's down there, uh, that's not enough stone. Oh, it's because I picked up some gold ore. Lock that back off. I have so much gold, I don't even care anymore. Is he down here? He is! Oh! So that means one of these is a slime chunk. Oh, wonderful. Because these little green balls are one of the most useful things in the game for me. Just because of how much I know how to do with them. The question is, which of these chunks is the slime chunk? I would love it if it's the one in the middle, because that would give this room a purpose. Okay, so with these last three here, that should isolate each of the chunks from each other. Oop, I missed one. It should isolate all the chunks, except for the big slime, or the little slimes. So now any slime that spawns that is not the smallest type should be stuck in its own little section. So I guess I will walk away here and come back in a couple minutes and see if anything spawned. That's a wonderful sight. <laughs> oh, the observers I could make with you. Ooh, that reminds me. I got some turtles bread. I need to go and check on them because uh, that's nighttime. Because one of them grew up and I got a scoot from it, but the other ones I have no idea what happened. I think maybe I made the room that they were in too small or something. It's two by two, but for some reason they aren't uh, they aren't surviving after they grow up. There's the last one. <laughs> yeah, they didn't actually spawn here. They uh, were on a different island. I picked up the eggs after breeding them with a silk touch and moved them inside this little room. Waiting for them to grow up so I can get the scoop. Yeah, there we go. What the hell? That was interesting. Well, that's a bit of a problem. There seems to be a backup in the system.
That's not good. How can I clear that? I guess I could just, you know, kill them. Just block his view so he can't uh, see the atrocities that are about to happen. Alright friends, as much as I hate to say it, I think that's all the time I have to record. Or at least all the time I have for that I can fit in the video. That was poorly worded. Whatever, you know what I meant. Hopefully. So I'm going to cut the episode off here. And if you enjoyed, consider leaving a like. If you really enjoyed, consider subscribing. If you don't feel like either of those, uh, don't do them. Or thumbs down, or I really don't care. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day.